Hey everyone, wanted to do a quick video on an easy way to extract, whether it be transmission fluid, engine oil, whatever, in a very versatile and flexible manner over your Mighty Vax and your manual pumps and the various other methods of extracting fluids out of a car. I've just taken a vacuum pump you can get for maybe $70 at Harbor Freight. Most people, a lot of people would have this already, possibly in their tool kit. Um, I've added a valve to it to allow for the, <coughs> um, you know, metering of the vacuum. And essentially just attached and made several different sized uh, canisters. Here I'm showing some Mount Olive pickle jars that I've used. This one here is, you know, 72 ounces, got markings on the side. This one's a gallon, 128 ounces. But essentially, I'm going to show you how easily this extracts, in this case, transmission fluid. Uh, it could just as easily be engine oil or any other liquid. I also have large carboys, 5 gallon and 2.5 and gallon, that I've hooked up the same apparatus for much larger jobs if you want. But it's a very easy and straightforward and uh, effective manner of getting fluids out of places like transmission uh, fluid and, and oil. So here we go. Essentially you've got the tube obviously. You turn off your vacuum, goes into the jar. Another great thing is these, these things are only a couple bucks for pickles. So you can have multiple jars with multiple tops to store the stuff once you're um, done with uh, extracting the fluid, the interchangeable lids. Here we go. So as you can see, I just have a small amount of metering of the fluid in of the vacuum and see how easily it's just coming right out. At this point I'll turn off the vacuum, let the existing vacuum kind of do its job and continue sucking transmission fluid. But I've seen many vacs and other things where the fluid might be thicker, but this will suck any kind of oil, heavier, denser stuff without pumping a vac, pumping a, a pump multiple times. Um, you know, the jars, various jars and things you can get are very flexible as far as use and, you know, you can measure the, the sides like I did to show exactly how much is coming out everything like that. Okay, it looks like the vacuum's kind of dissipating, so I'm gonna crank up the vacuum just a little bit more. There you can see it's starting to flow more. The only thing you obviously want to make sure you do in this case is stop the vacuum before you lose your complete spot in there. I usually don't get as much out of this as <clears throat> I'm getting, but there you can see it's kind of stopped. Started up again here. And now it's sputtering. So basically we come to the bottom of the come to the bottom of what's going to get out of the transmission fluid. Looks like about 92 ounces or something, which is a good, a good amount. So now we just close the valve, turn off the pump, and there you have it. An easy way to extract the fluid with a simple vacuum pump. Hope this helped everyone. I really enjoy this uh, 
method because of the fact that it's uh, so easy. For smaller ones, I can use my 72, go up to 128, go to two and a half gallons, go to five gallons, just depending on what, what I need to uh, work with. Um, again, at the top here is just a couple of nipples for um, epoxied into a couple of holes uh, into the Mount Olive pickle jar lid to make it easy to uh, pop on and off your tubes. So I hope this helped. Um, post any comments on your thoughts. Thanks.